Hey everyone, Bruce here with DIY Homestead Projects. Today I've got a product that was sent to me for review. I'll put all the information and some links in the description for anybody who may be interested in this, but basically what it is, I don't know, hopefully you can read that, it says solar driveway alarm. I'm going to use it in a gateway entry and they, I think they've sent me a receiver and two, tra uh, two sensors. So I'm going to put one on a gate, the other one uh, maybe on the top front of my garage so that it scans the whole parking area where I park vehicles sometimes or if somebody drives up to my garage it'll send off an alarm inside the house and let me know that somebody has arrived or is walking around out there. It's a uh, infrared sensor that it senses both heat and motion. And they have given me a promo code, DIYHP10, the number 10 and the percent sign. So if you have any interest in this or you think you might, might want to try one out for yourself, that'll allow you to get 10% off your order at the, I think it's called the HoSmart website. Again, link in the description. The sensor right here and the solar panel. And I believe inside here is a 18650 battery that gets charged from the sun. Supposedly it'll charge in rain and cloudy days as well. And this one has a USB cable with an adapter so you can plug it in to a uh, 120 volt normal standard outlet. And that's what I'm going to use to connect the receiver and it's got four channels and on the back it's got room for four it looks like four AA batteries and it looks to me like there are no batteries included I suppose you could run it with batteries if you didn't have a place to plug it in I'll have to look more into that and see how to get it set up but supposedly it's really simple and easy to set up and the way this works you've got four different channels so if you had four different sensors you could put a different sensor on each channel and each channel has a different chime or bell to it. So depending on what sound you hear depends on what zone they're in where you put those sensors. And it also has four uh, screws and four bolts like if you're going to mount it or not bolts but uh, I forget what they call them for, sheet, for mounting it into sheetrock. And they come in a lot of different package options. They have just a receiver and one sensor, a receiver and two sensors, which is what this kit is. And I think they go up to even four sensors. They claim it's weatherproof, so it can be out in the rain. Of course, you want this exposed so it can get the sunlight to charge the battery. And I don't know if I have to pre-charge these or what. So maybe I ought to read these instructions and then uh, we'll come back and I'll continue on. We'll hook it up and listen to what it sounds like. Alright, I've got this powered up. So let me walk you through the setup. It actually is really simple. In the bottom of each sensor you've got the this little weather seal here. So peel that back and on the left hand side you've got four positions and a little switch. Channel 1 through 4. I'm going to put this one on channel 1 to start with and each channel has its own chime on the uh, receiving unit. If you wanted to charge the battery with the USB, there's a charge port for that using the uh, included cable. And then it has high, low, and off. So if you needed to, you could turn off the sensor. Individual sensor for whatever reason, you can actually turn it off. Now the high and low is for range. I think the high was 30 feet and low was 20. So I'm going to put mine to start with on 20 on the low position. Channel 1 and we'll see what happens here. Whenever that senses movement a red light will flash to indicate that it picked up movement. Now the base again pretty straightforward. It's got a power button on the top is where the USB connects if you want the uh, charger plugged into an outlet which is what I've got it into an extension cord right now and then you've got your four channels 
So let's turn it on and then you've got a volume button louder and quieter. So let's turn it on. You'll hear that little chirp. If you hold it, two chirps and it shuts it off. So let's turn it back on. One chirp and then number three is illuminated. And then the number one blinks when it picks up something that's coming over channel number one. Let's put it on chime number two. Sounds like the ice cream truck. Number three. And number four. So those are the four different chimes or alarms that you can get. That's the loudest setting. There's the lowest volume. Let's put it up about halfway. And that's how I'm going to set it up. You can turn this and swivel it to point your uh, sensor in different directions, up or down and left and right. Turn it so you can get, get the screws into your mount and then set it however you want it to be. And it does have a screw on the back where you could tighten that down. So I think I'm going to mount this first one by my side gate. So let's go out there and I'll we'll get this mounted to the fence post and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll just get this receiver mounted on the wall somewhere in the house. I'm probably going to put mine in my laundry room. And, uh, and then we'll see about mounting this second sensor above my garage door, cover my driveway area. So I'll do a follow up on this in a month or two and let you guys know how it's holding up for those of you who are interested. And if you are interested or want more information, I'll leave links in the description below. This is the HoSmart or sold on Amazon under the name of eMacros. I'll put all those links in the description as well as a promo code DIYHP, the number 10 and the percent sign. So if you order it off of the HoSmart website, which will be linked, you can get 10% off your order. Pretty cool piece of uh, equipment. I'm real curious to see how it holds up with the weather. And supposedly, if you hook it up like I did, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the cord and the adapter to plug it into an outlet inside the laundry room. And I don't even have to buy batteries for it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me on the video. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you uh, haven't already, you might consider subscribing to the channel. I do all kinds of DIY homestead style projects that you may be interested in, as well as welding. Got a bunch of welding equipment to review and videos coming up on that here real soon in the near future. And uh, have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. <laughs>